families of those who survived the Oregon Community College massacre are giving chilling accounts of the gunman's 10-minute rampage. And as Daniel Nottingham reports from Roseburg, they are leaning on their faith to overcome this tragedy. For Randy Scroggins, pastor of New Beginnings Church of God, Sunday was more than just another day to give thanks. My daughter is alive. She's alive, man. His 18-year-old daughter, Lacey, survived Thursday's deadly shooting at Umpqua Community College without injury. The aspiring doctor played dead while 26-year-old Christopher Harper Mercer went on a deadly shooting rampage in the classroom. He killed her teacher and eight students before turning the gun on himself. This is not the first time evil has shown itself. Scroggins says Lacey was pressed against Trevin Anspach, who was fatally wounded, and his blood flowed onto her own clothes, likely saving her life. Trevin's our hero. He will always be our hero. All across this community, religious organizations are opening their doors for people to join together in prayer for the victims. Christian, non-Christian, we don't care who you are. You're welcome to come, and if you need to talk, Another local church set up this tent for members to pray for the next 24 hours. This tight-knit community is standing together to get one message across. Violence will not have the last word in Roseburg. God will have the last word. As investigators try to figure out why Harper Mercer inflicted pain here, people are already taking steps to heal. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, Roseburg, Oregon. Officials have canceled classes for the week at the community college.